For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, check out MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. In this video series, I will be talking about ketone bodies. And before I can get into any sort of details, I should answer the question, what are ketone bodies? But before I can get into that, I want to backtrack a little bit and talk about something that I've already talked about. Up here to the left, you'll see that this is a fatty acid here, okay? And previously, I've talked about how fatty acids can be broken down for energy. Um, specifically, they're broken down into a bunch of acetyl-CoA molecules. And um, the process by which we can convert uh, a fatty acid into a bunch of acetyl-CoA molecules is called beta-oxidation. I have a video series on that. You should check it out um, if you haven't already. And in that process, we're basically metabolizing fatty acids for energy. Um, in beta oxidation, we get a bunch of uh, FADH2s. We also get NADHs and, of course, plenty of acetyl-CoAs. And the acetyl-CoAs can follow through through the TCA cycle. And when they go through the TCA cycle, they, they give us some uh, NADHs, right? some more NADHs, some FADH2s, and some GTPs. Again, all value to energy. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, the reason why is these acetyl-CoAs, when they're made, they really want to go through the TCA cycle. But what can happen is that the TCA cycle can get backed up. And if that happens, the acetyl-CoAs will build up, right? We'll have a bunch of acetyl-CoAs kind of hanging around. The issue is that acetyl-CoA doesn't really like to hang around. And so it's going to be converted into something else. And so what will happen is that the acetyl-CoA molecules will undergo a process called ketone body synthesis, right, which makes the ketone bodies. It's also known as ketogenesis. Okay? And that will basically take these acetyl-CoAs and turn them into these three molecules that we see here. This one, this one, and this one. These are the ketone bodies. The one to the far left here is acetone. The one in the middle, acetoacetate. And the one on the right here is D-beta-hydroxybutyrate. And so these are the ketone bodies. Ketone bodies. Hmm. Okay, well, a ketone looks basically like acetone, right? It's a carbonyl with two R groups on either side. And they all kind of have that, except D-beta-hydroxybutyrate has a carboxylic acid. But the point is they have carbonyl groups, okay? Um, actually, the point is that these three are the ketone bodies, and that's what you should know, okay? So I've answered that first question, what are the ketone bodies? These three guys. Now... During ketone body synthesis or ketogenesis, these three are made. Now, acetone is made to a lesser extent than acetoacetate and D-beta-hydroxybutyrate. They're made to a greater extent. Okay. And what happens is that the acetone that is made, uh, a lot of it just ends up being exhaled. Okay. Um, whereas the acetoacetate and D-beta-hydroxybutyrate, they are transported in the blood to extra hepatic tissues okay why is that well why would that be what's their purpose or function what they do is they basically provide energy for extra hepatic tissues at this point you're probably wondering what the heck is extra hepatic um extra hepatic hepatic refers to liver that part refers to liver extra sort of implies basically things other than the liver, <laughs> okay? So other than the liver. So basically the tissues outside the liver, t tissues other than the liver, okay? Um, these are not used by the liver for energy, right? These ketone bodies are used for energy by other tissues. Some examples I've got actually listed here, um, skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, kidney cells, and the brain. Now I got a little asterisk next to the brain, and the reason why is that the brain prefers to use glucose for energy pretty much all the time. But it will adapt to using ketone bodies, which I will abbreviate as KB. It will adapt to using ketone bodies during starvation. Okay. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. So now the question is, where are they made? Well, if they're transported in the blood to extra hepatic tissues, Maybe I've already given it away here with, with hepatic. They're made in the liver, specifically in the liver mitochondria. Okay. And that should make sense given what we've already talked about so far, right? 
we mentioned beta oxidation and the TCA cycle. Those both happen in the mitochondrial matrix. Okay, So this is all happening in the mitochondrial matrix. What happens is that if the TCA cycle is backed up, the acetyl-CoA's will go through ketone body synthesis to make these ketone bodies. And these ketone bodies here can be transported in the blood to tissues outside of the liver. And those tissues can use these ketone bodies for energy. Okay, So now the question is, how are they made? Well, that's something we'll see in the next video. I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.